Why, hello there, boys and girls, ladies and gents, and members of the Big Red Food Army. It's your boy, Big Red, for another episode of the Fast Food Fat Man. This morning, I'm hungry. I'm on the way to go see my friend about some t-shirts. And, you know, I saw the little sign flashing up in the sky there. So, you know, I'm going to give a little love to Jack in the Crack, better known as Jack in the Box. Let's see what we can do. I'm just waiting for the little speaker box person. Hi, welcome to Jackie the Box. Can I get you today? Uh, yes, sir. I'd like to try your um, six dollar. Um, what is that? The the sriracha burger combo. Okay, the, okay, the mochi meal is like right eight dollars right now. After nine p.m. is six dollars. So. What's that? Right now is eight dollars. After nine p.m. is six. Okay, so so your 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 sign doesn't say that, but okay, whatever. You know, Jesse J Jesse James uses a horse and a gun to rob people. Y'all just use a little menu board, huh? I'll still take it. Come on, let's do it up. Mm hmm. What kind of do you like? Um, let me do a uh, let me do a um. I guess a, a root beer will be fine. All right. Anything else for you, sir? No, actually, you got you got lemonade. Let me do a lemonade. Lemonade. All right. No problem, sir. Anything else? No, that's it. All right. It'll be eight sixty-six. Yeah. Okay. Fucking the sun says six dollars. Doesn't say nothing about time. This, that, and the other on the sign. Fuck all red. Story of my life. Oh, it's not this time. We're going to fuck you. I'm gonna, I wonder if I get Vaseline with that. So. Come on, how are you doing, sir? All right, how we doing? Good, thanks, sir. Does, does, does that come with Vaseline? No. Because <laughs> I'm getting fucked, you know? The sign doesn't have a it's time on it. Small letters. Oh, small letters. Yeah. So I need to get out my car and get a magnifying glass to see that. I don't know that. That, but it's a lot of people. You know. Because that, that fucking round-headed, pointy-nosed clown of y'all need to fuck somebody. That's why. Maybe he needs a new pointy hat. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, sir. Let me throw that money back in the cow skin before I forget. Uh, you see, it's in small letters. Fine print. You got to read the fine print, boys and girls. Except for the fine print is 30 feet away from you while you're sitting in your car and you only pass that thing for a second. Certain time. At certain time, my ass. They got Cinnabon, iced coffee. Yeah, I don't know about that nonsense. 
limited time only. Maybe I'll review it. I don't know. Jack in the Box is on my shit list now, y'all. Right up there with Carl's Jr. and that bullshit. sad when a fast food company needs as if they're not overpriced already they gotta fuck you Mm -mm -mm. sad sad so if you want this meal that I'm getting this uh, munchy meal thing or whatever be sure to go after 9 o'clock or you get fucked and the the little dude you saw me Uh, yeah a little bit of each please you said a little dude. You said it don't come with Vaseline. <laughs> All right, thank you. All right, so let's knock this out. Let me find a little spot to park. All right, so this looks like as good a spot as any to park. good as any spot let me uh go ahead and throw y'all up in in this here old claustrophobic uh sunglass holder sunglasses there to hold you guys in place so y'all don't run away on me all right so unrestrain myself because there ain't no restraints there ain't no filth on my mouth so y'all just gotta y'all know the drill so he asked if I wanted hot sauce or ketchup. I get a whole whopping, what's that, three hot sauces and three ketchups. No, three hot sauces and and, uh, th- and four ketchups. Wow. Big, big splurge there. I got some napkins. Maybe if they start giving out less napkins, they could quit fucking people, huh? I don't know. But the munchy snack box. Hopefully that took a thumbnail. I don't know. Let me just actually stop this and do a thumbnail. Nah, forget it. Let let uh old YouTube do my thumbnail for me. I don't know. Let me see. How do, how do I get into this thing? Oh, they got it taped. Look at that. They got it taped so it doesn't freaking jump all over the place. And then I think they gave me the wrong meal. We will find out here. And then you're supposed to get halvesies on your fries, like half curly, half straight. Well, I got more straight than than curly. Let's see. I've never had a taco at Jack and a Crack. It looks like a shitty fucking taco. Or at least a... Are you fucking kidding me? I mean, really, y'all. Look at that little pinch of meat you get. I mean, really? I mean, I can barely see the meat. I mean, come on, Jack in the Box. Like, two pieces of fucking whacked out lettuce, a little pinch of fucking meat, I mean, and I do mean a little pinch, greasy ass taco shell, I ain't gonna lie, the taco shell has a good taste, the part that's not all soggy. But that's all I'm tasting. 
Damn near everybody was a taco shell. I mean, like I said, there's more lettuce than meat. I wouldn't go out of my way to get these tacos. That's for sure. Again, the smallest pinch of meat possible that you can put on a taco and still call it a meat taco, I guess. I don't fucking know. I feel like this meal should have came with Vaseline because, I mean, they go on slow, deep, and hard. feel like I should have been lubed first. I mean, like I said, the smallest amount of meat you could possibly get away with giving out on a taco and still call it a meat taco. If you even want to call that meat, it's more like a meat paste. Sad. Now I know why they call it Jack and a Crack, because you gotta be a fucking crackhead to eat it. Or high on crack. But the actual shell, the part that's not soggy, isn't bad. It's got a distinct flavor. That's pretty cool, I guess. Look at the old bird nest working overtime here. The bird nest bib is working. All right, so let's see if we can get rid of this crap out the way. And again, this is supposed to be halvesies. I think I got like one, two. piece of one that piece of another I mean curly fry I mean come on really do they not know the word half means equal 50 50 I mean come on fuckers They're trying to be like Taco Bell, putting little catchy things on their thing. It says, ketchup, don't eat fries without it. And the other one said, ketchup with ketchup. They're trying to be slick like Taco Bell or some shit. Jack in the Box, y'all falling short. That's all I got to say. To redeem this video, y'all need to have this fucking burger on point. That's all I got to say. Fries, cold as shit. room temperature at best. They just put it in the wrong wrap. I got the right burger. This is their sriracha cheeseburger. And it comes with the curly fries on it. I mean, you can tell Big Bertha sat on this fucker because, I mean, look at that bottom bun, how 
discombobulated it is. I mean, come on, really? Top bun looks nice. Maybe she's she only she was only working half the day and only sat on the bottom bun. Fat ass. If I'm not mistaken, sriracha is supposed to be red. This shit is orange is an orange. Orange is a caution sign, so maybe I should take caution eating this. It doesn't taste like sriracha at all. tastes more like buffalo sauce than anything. But it's hip these days to have habanero anything or sriracha anything. So, thanks hipsters for ruining Chinese ketchup for me. That's why I call my sriracha sauce Chinese ketchup. Yeah, Jack in a Box, aka Jack in a Crack. Y'all definitely missed the mark on this. From advertising to ripping people off all the way to execution. This sucks. It's cheaper after nine o'clock and it's the munchy meal. I just figured out why. Because the pothead done spent most of his money on good weed. So now all he can afford is cheap crap when he's got the munchies. So they call it the late night munchie meal. I got you, Jack in the Box. Y'all cater to fucking potheads who spend that, spend that good hard-earned money on good weed and shitty food. And they're too stoned out of their fucking mind. to know that this ain't sriracha sauce, you motherfuckers. They're probably too stoned to know that the fries are room temperature at best. And too stoned to know that there ain't no meat on them damn tacos. So to all my viewers out there that smoke dope, smoke that little mother nature, don't get fooled by this, you hear? If I could quote General Admiral Akbar, it's a trap! So let's knock out some of these fries, which are supposed to be halvesies, but we ain't got halvesies. We got less than a tenth C. Wow, Jack in the Box, I don't know who y'all get y'all ketchup from, or if y'all make it yourself. Even y'all ketchup sucks. Wow, how do you fuck up ketchup? Obviously, y'all found a way. And this is my only actual true curly fry. Everything else that's a curly fry looks like that. Busted up broken ass pieces.
Yeah, so I figured it, I figured out the whole ploy behind this. Late night munchy meal box. All the potheads spent all that good hard earned money on good weed. And all I got is a little bit of change left. So they come to this place and get uh, the cheap munchy meal. And they so stone that they can't realize that the ketchup sucks. There's no meat on the taco or very little meat. And it's not real meat. It looks like a meat paste. The shell's greasy. The sriracha sauce or sriracha concoction is orange, not red. And it tastes like buffalo sauce versus sriracha sauce. Yeah, I got your ticket. I do have one more actual curly fry. Look at that. And just one more. So, I had a total of three curly fries. This one's kind of weak. I mean, this one needs Viagra. Somebody needs to tell that fry guy in this location what the word half means. So, I can't eat no more of this crap. I'm done. Hope I got enough lemonade. So y'all know where we're going with this. Time for the review. Jack in a box for your late night munchy sriracha havesy meal box. I don't know if I want to go with the, the, the big old goose egg or the negative you know what? Fuck it. We're going negative one. You got a negative one flip-flop. I'm taking away a flip-flop. So, y'all ain't even got a flip-flop no more. Y'all better hop around on one damn foot. Because, like I said earlier in this video, the advertisement and the bullshit scam you're running. Oh, it's more expensive now. Okay. Your sriracha sauce don't taste like sriracha sauce. It tastes like buffalo sauce. You have these fries, them, them bitches back there, they can't count. Big Bertha sat on one of my damn buns. You had meat paste that looked like somebody just squirted a little bit out of a tube instead of a freaking actual meat on a freaking taco. Your shell was greasy as fucking a 1950s greaser's hair. I'm like, this was a total fail. Negative one flip-flop for you fuckers. Terrible, Jack and Box. Terrible. Shame on you. Shame, shame is the name of the game. <sighs> All right. So one of these corners, I'm, I, I can never remember, but one of those corners has a subscription button. If you like this video, please consider subscribing. Become part of the Big Red Food Army. Next to the subscription button is a bell. It will notify you when I have new content uploaded. And... The opposite corner of that, there's thumbs up, thumbs down, pow, hit me with one. Just like Jack in the Box hit me with a fucked up deal. Uh, it doesn't matter which one. We like these better. But I can take it. 
just let me know that you're watching. I don't care. Thumbs up, thumbs down. You're going to do what you're going to do. In the middle down there, there's a description box with a description of this video with links to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Also, a link to this channel's homepage where I separate all my videos by series to make watching my videos a lot easier for you. Life's hard enough. Watching my videos on YouTube shouldn't be any harder. So, and below that comment section, type me a comment. Let me know how you feel about Jack in a Box and your experiences with them. Uh, let me know how your day is. I don't care. Just type me a message. I'll type you one back. I answer 99.9% .9 of all my messages. I'm not that big yet. Well, I am big, but you know what I mean. Um, also, as always, tell your ma, tell your pa, tell your greasy, greasy grandma, share this video with your family and friends. Show them how you've been getting down with Big Red. And maybe they'd like to get down with Big Red too, you know? And join this cornucopia of shenanigans that we have going on here at the Big Red Show. And as always, thanks for watching from my day one subscriber to the new guy on the totem pole. I love each and every one of you. So, with that being said, I'm Big Red for the Fast Food Fat Man, and I'll see you next time in the drive-thru. I'm out.